So for the VEN setup with EBT, VEN does not allow you to separate EBT qualified versus unqualified transactions. So what you're going to train your staff to do is ring in all the EBT food stamp qualified items first. So you'll see here I'm going to ring in some fruit as well as a non-cooked item. It then gives me a subtotal for payment. We'll click the pay button here and next we'll jump over to the terminal to run the transaction. On the terminal you'll press the F3 button for the favorites, enter, which then brings up our regular transaction. Press the down arrow. You must select either EBT food or cash depending on the type of transaction. Both will require a pin pad. If it's a food transaction, you'll press enter once highlighted. You'll enter the amount that shows on the VEN screen. Press OK. At this point, it'll prompt you to run the EBT transaction. Almost all states are still swiping, so you'll swipe the card. So next, the amount will show up on the pin pad, and the customer will have to put in their pin number. The term will reach out and go for approval. So your itemized receipt will show you your full amount with your EBT amounts as well as your credit card amounts. Important that you attach your copy to the copy that came out of your deja vu so you can show that you're in compliance with all food stamp rules. A few tricks that we've utilized in the situations is showing a FS next to the items that are food stamp eligible and then no FS when they're not. Any additional questions, feel free to give us a call at the number at the end of the slide.